Hi, we are going to talk about what legal services are available to seniors. I am Roz Jones, the CEO and owner of Jacksonville's Best Caregivers, where we provide four levels of specialized care to your loved ones, sitter, homemaking companion, home health aid, and certified nursing assistant. When you can't do it all, you give us a call. As a caregiver to a senior or to the person that you love or that you're taking care of, part of your responsibility as a caregiver is to make sure that their documentation is in order, that all of their legal matters are in order. So where do we start? Where do we go? And particularly for you know people who are on fixed incomes like seniors or those who may uh, be receiving disability checks or veterans, where do we go? Where do we start to be able to get free legal services? Fortunately, there are many nonprofit organizations out there that offer free legal services to those people who are on fixed income as well as seniors, or it may be based on your income where you have to pay a very small minimum fee to be able to get your legal services done. But either way it goes, free or a small amount is better than paying the, the regular amount of the attorney's fees. So here are several ways that I have looked up to help you with your loved one or with that senior person in your life to be able to get those services either free or at a really reduced cost. The first one we're going to talk about is legal aid. Legal aid is all over the United States. Legal aid has a special section for seniors, particularly if you're trying to get your documentation in order, such as power of attorney, healthcare surrogate, living will trust. Legal aid has usually a special area for seniors or for advanced directives. So this would be a really great place to start. And it's income based. So if you meet the income criteria, then it's for free. And if you are just above the income criteria, then they will tell you how much it was cost. Your area council on aging. And you can find your area council on aging through elder source or through the council on aging, or it may be called aging source in your area, but you wanna look under the local elder source to be able to find this particular agency. And then they also too have referrals and attorneys that work with them on a nominal fee to be able to help seniors or those who are on a fixed income. And pro bono programs are attorneys who volunteer. They volunteer to help low income residents with their legal affairs. So in order to look up the pro bono, you would have to also look up under your state or under your county for pro bono um, programs. And those are where the attorneys volunteer to help uh, people who meet the poverty level income qualifications with their legal affairs. LegalHotline.com, LegalHotline.com. This is where the seniors can call and actually speak to someone on the phone and ask questions, eat legal questions about, you know, documents, you know, everything that they would need so far as a trust, so far as a will, so far as what to do with the house if something happens, bank accounts. So all these questions can be answered, which is probably a good place to start you want to ask the question so then that when you go into legal aid or counsel on aging or wherever you may go to the pro bono programs, a lot of your questions will be answered and then you will have, you know, information and information makes you powerful so that when you walk in, you can say, okay, I already know what I want. Okay. So legalhotlines.org is where you can call in and actually speak to an attorney for free, and they will answer all of your legal questions. So it's legalhotlines.org is where you can call and start initiating the questions. And so then before you actually go and sit down with an attorney, you're already empowered and informed, and that's a good thing. 
The National Disability Rights Network. This is only for those people who have disabilities. So we're gonna move on to the next one. Employee Sponsored Legal Services, EAP, which is the Employment Assistant Program. If you're working through the EAP, they have what's called reduced fees and they have attorneys that work with the companies at a reduced fee. So, you know, they may not charge a full fee, but it will be some type of fee charge. You can go to the American Bar Association and they can help you find programs if you can't find something that's close to you or in your state, or if you're not happy with some of the referrals that you've gotten. Your state bar association can also help you find programs that will fit your financial needs. The biggest thing that I wanted you all to understand is that as a caregiver, you have the responsibility to make sure that the person that you're taking care of, that their legal affairs are intact because you don't want to get to the point to where, number one, you uh, have to take care of them and you don't have the right documentation in place and then you can't get anything done. So get this documentation taken care of, particularly um, as, as they begin to age and sometimes their mind may not be right or they may get in an accident and can't talk, then your hands are bound as a caregiver, what you're able to do, you are limited without this documentation, okay? So let the documentation help you and not work against you and not work against the person you're taking care of. The whole thing is that you still wanna make sure that they have the right quality of life and you can make the decisions that they want. Make the decision that they want. You don't want the decision to be made in court. Make sure that they leave behind a legacy and not a mess. Once again, I'm Ross Jones, the CEO and owner of Jacksonville's Best Caregivers, where we provide four levels of specialized care to your loved one, sitter, homemaker, and companion, home health aide, and certified nursing assistants. And when you can't do it all, give us a call. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and put on your notifications.